guys welcome back for another video in today's video we will be customizing a wig and we're going to start with bleaching the knots currently I'm in a hair store getting everything I'll need and for this step all you'll need is bleach developer and purple shampoo see you guys in a few Now that you have everything you need from the beauty supply store, go ahead and grab your wig and let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is examine your wig. Like all artists, we first need to know what our canvas looks like. And this step is going to better equip us when bleaching the hair. First up, grab any holding spray and go ahead and push the hairline back so that way we don't bleach any flyaways. Okay, so I just want to throw out a disclaimer. I'm not a professional, but let's get started. Now that the hairline is pushed back, go ahead and grab your bleach. We're going to go ahead and get this mixed together. I feel like I need to tell y'all, I had to go to the hair store twice to get bleach because I don't know why, but the first time I left with only developer. Crazy. But y'all, with the bleach, I use two scoops. I would definitely recommend only using one if you have a closure wig. I had a little bit left over. Only use plastic, no metals for this next step. You're gonna mix the bleach and developer together. I have a 30 volume developer so it doesn't process too fast. And there aren't any real measurements that I can give you. You'll just have to eyeball it. But I can tell you what you're going for. You're going for a thick, creamy, pasty consistency. And I'll just say start slow. See? You're going to get it thick because you don't want it to ooze through. Okay, so this is the method we're going to be using, y'all. We're going to start from the middle and work our way back. The back is typically more denser, so it has a longer processing time. Then you'll go back to the middle and work your way to the front, ensuring that you get everything, including the hairline. The whole purpose of bleaching the knots is so that you can get them lighter and they'll blend in with your scalp more and give that illusion that we're going for. Even though it's a wig, we're trying to give scalp. Even in this shot, you can see how I was saying in the back is typically more denser. You can see the knots more visibly than you can here in the front. Before we move on, you guys, take a moment to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you can join the family. So this is what I meant by starting from the middle and working your way back. We're only going to do the back half stopping at the middle so that way we can give the back more time to process. You'll want to let the back process for about 10 minutes before you start on the front. And remember guys, while you're applying the bleach, you do want to apply a pretty thick layer. And when you're applying it, you want to be real light-handed. You barely want to apply any pressure because you don't want to apply so much pressure that the bleach seeps through the lace and start bleaching the hair. And that again is why we have a thick paste so it doesn't go through the lace really easy. And whenever you're applying the bleach, you want to actually lift the wig up off of the counter. You don't want to have it flat on any surface because then you're more likely to apply more pressure. And as you can see here, no bleach is coming through the lace. But if it was, you guys, all you would have to do is add water. Water is a neutralizer and it'll stop the chemical reaction for the processing. So just get like a damp paper towel and wipe it off if it goes through. And after you let it sit for about 20 minutes in total, you'll go ahead and wash it out with the purple shampoo. The purple shampoo is a neutralizer as well, so it'll stop any chemical reactions from the bleach, as well as it cancels out any reddish undertones that you get from bleaching your hair. You can even use a blue shampoo to cancel out any of those yellow undertones. This way, your wig is blending into your scalp as much as possible. Just work the shampoo through really good because you don't want any leftover bleach. I do have some exciting news, you guys. I am working on the first of many giveaways on my channel. 
All details about the giveaway will be posted in the community chat. If you don't know what the community chat is, shame on you because I mentioned it several times in my videos. But all you have to do is go to my profile and you should see where it says like home, about, and it's just a community. Community is how I upload photos and any just any short communication that I want to convey to you guys. So make sure that you're checking the community chat. Okay, so get into the wig. I think it looks really good and that is gonna blend in really well with my skin tone, especially once you add like the wig cap, the makeup, it's going to blend perfectly. It is a little over processed, but not by much. It came out really good. Just whenever you're bleaching, definitely check on your wig to see how fast it is processing and how light you want to go. Just keep an eye on it and follow these steps and you should be golden. If this video was useful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up so others can find it as well. Make sure you come back for part two and three so you can see how I style this. Yeah, y'all, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to... <laughs> Child, my daughter in here cooking. Make sure you guys come back next week for a new video. There is gonna be a part two of how to pluck a wig. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye.